Life. It moves pretty fast. And if you don't stop and look around once in a while, you might miss it. But for me, it didn't always seem this way. When I was younger, days and weeks seemed to last for months on end. Back in the summer of 69, the summer seemed to last forever, according to Brian Adams. Actually, I don't know why I said that. Back in the summer of 69, I was still three months away from my mother's womb. And anyway, Brian Adams meant something completely different. The summer of 69 wasn't about the year. I think he was being rude. Summers when I was a boy did seem to last forever. In fact, everything about my life up to the age of 30 seemed to go at a slow and steady pace. Life was slow and orderly to me, and my future seemed to be a never-ending void that I'd never get to the end of. I can tell you what I was doing in June 1986, March 1992, or September 1979. But after the age of 30, everything seemed to go by in a blur. If you were to ask me when something happened after the age of 30, I might be able to point you in the rough general direction of the right decade. I feel as though I've only just put the Christmas tree away, and yet here we are, hurtling towards summer. I get the feeling that if I don't pay attention, before I know it, it's going to be Christmas again. We've all heard it, people of advancing years saying that life appears to be accelerating the more we age. Is this just a quirky observation or is there any science behind it? Well, it turns out that it is a widely experienced perception that scientists, psychologists and neurologists have been studying for years. In this video, we're going to explore why time feels faster as we get older. We'll do a deep dive into the scientific explanations into this universal experience. Why does life seem to speed up? as we get older. It's a subjective experience. At its core, the speeding up of life is about perception, not the actual passage of time. A minute is still 60 seconds, whether you're five or 50. So why does it feel different? Psychologists argue that our sense of time is shaped by how we process our experiences, and the world around us. As we age, several factors, biological, psychological, and social, converge to warp this perception, making years feel shorter and shorter. One of the earliest thinkers to tackle this was French philosopher Paul Janet in 1877. He proposed the proportional theory. He suggested that our perception of time is relative to the length of our lives. When you're 10 years old, a year is 10% of your entire existence, a massive chunk. At 50, that same year is just 2%, a fleeting blip. That does go some way to explaining why time does seem to speed up, and it does make sense. But there's more to it than fractions. Neuroscientists say that it's our brain that's the mastermind behind our shifting sense of time. As we age, changes in how our brains process information can alter our experiences. One key factor is the slowing of cognitive processing speed. Studies carried out in 2019 suggest that the rate in which we acquire and process new mental images declines with age. Young brains buzzing with rapid neural activity absorb the world in vivid detail. Older brains with slower networks and less novelty to process take in less per second, making time feel like it's slipping by faster. The suggestion is that circadic eye movements, those little eye movements that our eyes do to scan our environment, slow with age due to brain degradation. child's eyes dart around capturing a flood of fresh data, whereas an adult's gaze is steadier, taking in less new information. The result? Days feel shorter because our brain has got less to chew on. Now, there is a bit of science to back this up. Also in 2019, a study from the University of Munster in Germany used EEG scans to measure how adults of different ages perceived short time intervals. For example, one to three seconds. Younger participants consistently overestimated these durations, 
whereas older participants consistently underestimated them. Researchers link this to a decline in dopamine levels. That's tied to attention and reward processing, but it drops as we age. Less dopamine means less anchoring to the present moment, letting time slip by unnoticed. Another piece of the puzzle seems to be how we form memories. Psychologists like William James, writing in the 19th century, said that maybe it's because childhood is packed with firsts. The first day at school, the first bike ride, the first trip to the beach. These novel experiences demand attention and they etch themselves onto our mind. That stretches our sense of time. Look at adult life in contrast. It's all work, bills, TV, beer, repeat. With lower and lower standout moments, the years blur together. British psychologist Claudia Hammond took this a bit further in her book, Time Warped. She found that people who reported trying new experiences, such as travel, starting a new hobby, learning a new skill, perceived time as passing more slowly. In 2011, further studies were carried out at the University of Tokyo. Researchers asked participants to spend a week either following their usual routine or trying new activities. Those activities could be quite simple, such as cooking a new recipe or visiting a new place. Those in the group trying new things rated the week as feeling longer, suggesting that breaking the monotony can stretch time. I can give you an example from my own personal experience. For 30 years, I lived in the corporate world. I was a bank manager. When I look back over those 30 years, I can only tell you what I was doing on any specific year based on the office I was working out of or the age of my children. All of it, looking back, just seems like a blur. This last two and a half years, I've been a YouTuber. I've had to learn new skills and I've had new challenges and it's made me live in the moment. I can honestly say over the last two and a half years, looking back, it's been the slowest of my adult life. Please allow me just 20 seconds to plug this channel. Very Nearly Interesting is a brand new channel and I need all the help I can get. Please click that like button if you've enjoyed this video. That's how YouTube knows you like it and they'll show it to more people. And please consider subscribing. That way I might see you again. And now you can support the channel on Patreon where you'll find exclusive content and a grateful me. There's a link in the channel description. Globally, this theory does add up. A 2016 study by the Max Planck University in Germany polled a thousand adults across Europe. Participants over 40 consistently said that time felt much faster than it did in their 20s with repetitive schedules identified as the culprit. The younger adults surveyed, still navigating life's milestones, reported time dragging, especially through periods of change, like starting college or a new job. Some scientists say that our brains just don't process time proportionately they do it logarithmically. Think about how we view our life history. The difference between the age of five and six seems monumental. The difference between the age of 55 and 56, absolutely trivial. The theory is because of logarithmic scaling, our brains are hardwired to squash time as it accumulates. Giving your mind new challenges can slow down the process. And that's important because life moves pretty fast. And if you don't stop to look around once in a while, you might miss it. <laughs>